This is the C8 Aileron from Dutch manufacturer Spiker. Now if you know your automotive history, you'll recognize the name Spiker from the early 1900s. They were a coachworks manufacturer, they built some early vehicles, and even made planes for World War I. But in the year 2000, Dutch entrepreneur Victor Mueller bought the name and brought out a whole new series of vehicles inspired by the Spiker name. Now this is the latest version, the C8 Aileron. Now this is a two-seat mid-engine coupe powered by an Audi V8 engine that makes 400 horsepower and 354 pound-feet of torque. It has a six-speed gearbox, an all-aluminum space frame chassis, and a body inspired by airplanes. But what is it really? Is it a track-only race car, an ultra-exotic GT, or some retro-inspired flight of fancy? Let's hit the road and find out. Okay, so we're now on the road in the uh, Spiker C8 Aileron, and the first thing you notice is that this car really is something special. Um, as we were driving up and down here, we were tailed by a number of vehicles, just wanted to check out what is this car, what is it doing. Inside, it's amazing. There's a whole ton of uh, airplane-inspired uh, themes going on here, turned aluminum dash, uh, these old-school gauges, and a lot of these uh, the switches and knobs that are straight off uh, older airplanes. Very cool looking, very classic. People who you know understand cars will, under, will, will realize these look a lot like the mini switches, but these are much better done. They're all metal. Everything in here has a real uh, uh, hand-finished feel to it. Uh, on the road, it's not that it's a, it's a harsh ride. Uh, it has uh, dual uh, control arm suspension, front and rear, and it's Lotus tuned suspension. So it is very comfortable uh, to drive, but you, know, you do really feel the road through some of these turns. Um, it really hugs, a lot of mechanical grip, and you do get you know, some vibrations transmitted directly into the cabin, again, because of the stiffness. Uh, the engine performs fantastically. Transmission works wonderfully. It's a six-speed automatic. There is a manual option, but Spiker believes that 90 to 99% of the customers uh, will order this with the uh, automatic. It's got paddle shifters and a sport mode that helps put all the power to the rear wheels and really gets this thing going. It is not only a sport mode in the uh, transmission, but there's a sport mode for the exhaust because a lot of the potential buyers live in gated communities where they need to have the, uh, uh, they don't want to have such a loud uh, exhaust waking up the neighbors or you know, pissing people off. So you can actually flip the switch and turn it down so the valves in the exhaust system uh, don't open uh, below a certain RPM. Keeps things very quiet. So on the country roads, it, uh, you know, it drives great, looks great, but we're not really pushing it anywhere near its limits. Again, I've only cracked the throttle just a little bit, and it's way too fast already for these roads. So let's see how it handles on the track. Okay, so now we're here on the racetrack at Miller Motorsports Park. We're running the East Course, 2.2 miles, in Spiker C8 Aileron. Now this is a fantastic sports car out here. Uh, it's not a true race car. It's a lot smoother than that, but there are several racy elements to it, particularly in the chassis. You can really feel the how tight and structurally sound this uh, space frame, this aluminum space frame is. It uh, really feels very sweet out here through the corners, and that has to do with also the suspension, the Lotus tune. Bill steam shocks and iBox springs really give this car a lot of mechanical grip, and you can feel it from corner to corner. Not a lot of slop in the chassis, no flex. This thing just corners like it's on rails. Um, engine is pretty good too. I wouldn't say it's it's awesome. It's not really awe-inspiring. 400 horsepower in 3,100 pounds is a great combination, but there are cars in this place range that go quite a bit faster when you hit the loud pedal. Um, transmission is also pretty good. It is a standard torque converter automatic, so it's not as crisp as some of the dual clutch transmissions out there, uh, but it does shift appropriately fast. I will say the sport mode could stand to have a little more aggressive tune to it, but you know, not bad. Again, this is not truly a race car. This is more of a GT car, and you really do get that feel. It's very comfortable, it's very smooth out here, 
Um, but it does do quite nicely out here at this racetrack. Uh, you can hit your apexes, go corner to corner without any fear of, of spinning the thing out. Uh, a lot of grip from the mid-engine, rear-wheel drive layout. Beautiful car, great sight lines, great visibility, and fantastic noise from the uh, Audi V8 engine. Uh, especially when you get on the throttle and just nail it, just like that. All right, so we spent a lot of time on the road and at this track with the Spiker C8 Aileron. And we can answer two questions. Number one, what is it? Is it a track tuned race day special meant only for circuits like this? No, this is really a GT car meant for grand touring in high style. Uh, it's a beautiful car with a lot of technological goodies, you know, that aluminum space frame, uh, an awesome engine, and really finely tuned suspension. So the other question we can answer is who is this car for? Well, it's really for the guy who is interested in having a very unique and a very special car. These are limited run vehicles. Uh, they're not going to be mass produced. They're certainly not really in the realm of a Porsche or even a Lamborghini and a Ferrari. And Spiker knows this. They didn't create this car for that guy. This is not uh, for the guy who's made his million and is buying his first exotic or even a second. This is for the guy who has maybe four or five of those cars, a Bentley, a Lamborghini, a Ferrari already in his garage. And maybe he's tired of seeing himself coming and going. He wants something that's very unique, very stylish, yet has the performance to back up its racy good looks. It's also for the guy who has a huge ego and the wallet to match. Because this car at $224,000 with the automatic is certainly not cheap. But if we had the money, we'd take something.